Hey there Aquarius and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of October and we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies. Also Aquarius, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Okay, lots of evaluating and assessing um, happening for you this month here. You have a few signs showing up very strongly. So we've got Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, and Virgo showing up strong. Now, of course, this could apply to all signs. Those are just the signs which are really, really showing up strongly. The main energy for your reading is the Seven of Pentacles. You're really evaluating, you're really assessing something here. You're kind of looking at like the pros and cons, yes and no. You're really kind of making a checklist. Um, we'll see what this is about. This could be relationship. I don't quite know yet. In the recent past, you get the Six of Swords, the Fool, and the Lovers. You've walked away from something here. You've made the decision to walk away, and I can see that it's risky. I can see that this was not an easy decision for you to make. You're very much showing me like, hey, I went out on a limb by walking away from this. Was it the right choice? Was it the wrong choice? I don't know. Um, but I'm the one that made that decision. Decision. I'm the one that chose to walk away from this, and that could be what you're evaluating and assessing here as the main energy. In the current situation, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hierophant. You are, you at least have the desire to, I should say, come together with somebody and rebuild a foundation. Now, you want to put a break, you want them to put a break, you really want to meet halfway. You want there to be like 50-50 in terms of both of you coming to the table. So you're showing up, you're like, hey, I'm willing to test the waters. I'm willing to rebuild a foundation here, but I'm not rebuilding this foundation by myself. You have to meet me halfway. And I feel like they are meeting you halfway because you are showing me the sun here, um, which again, to me as a reader, indicates immense happiness. So I do feel like they are meeting you halfway, but we'll clarify and we will see. In the near future, you get the Hermit, the Magician, and the Two of Pentacles. There's a little bit of confusion here for you because you feel like you may be getting the wool pulled over your eyes. You're not 100% sure, like, is this person playing me? Am I being deceived, right? But deep down, there is some confusion for you because, again, you don't know. This person could be playing you. They could not be playing you. But there's really, this to me feels more like a fear than it actually does, like, oh, they're actually, like, you know, playing me, manipulating me. It feels more so like you fear that they will do that, but you don't know if they are, and that's why you're confused. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's start off by clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Four of Cups. You really, really do want to work on things here. You want to come together, like I said, and build and rebuild here. That is truly your one desire. The thing is, though, you're showing me, I like, I know that this is what I want, but I don't know if we can make it happen. So that's what you're evaluating and assessing. If I wanted to come back together and rebuild this foundation, and this could be romantic, this could be relationship, this could be friendship, take it as it resonates. If I wanted to come together and rebuild this and rebuild this connection, right, would we actually be able to do that? Because you're showing me I don't want to sit here and extend and offer them like, hey, let's come together and rebuild if I don't know that we can actually do this. I don't want to sit here and just like gear up and start putting in all this effort and all this work if the other person is not going to match my energy, if the other person is not going to meet me halfway, or if there's literally nothing left for us to rebuild here. Let's take a look at the recent past to get some more clarity about this energy. So I'm going to start off with clarifying the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is clarified by the Strength, the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. You walked away. It was difficult to, for you to walk away from whatever this is in the recent past. I can see that. It was very, very, very difficult to you to walk away from this soul connection, from this divine connection, because it wasn't all bad, right? This person, this connection, brought in a lot of emotional stability and emotional fulfillment for you, but you still made the decision to walk away. Now, again, I'm sure you had your reasons. You're not showing me what those are. But you're showing me like I made the logical decision to walk away. It wasn't easy. It was very difficult. I don't know if I made the right decision, but I did it in the recent past. Let's take a look at the fool in the recent past for you. The 
Fool was clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Swords, which you just got, and the Emperor. I do feel like it was very, very risky for you to walk away in terms of there was no security. You didn't 100% know, like, okay, if I walk away, I'm going to be confident in my decision. I'm going to question my decision. It's the right decision. It's the wrong decision. You were very much like kind of on like a merry-go-round of this is a good choice. No, it's not a good choice. Yes, it is a good choice. No, it's not a good choice, right? Um, and that's where that confusion may have stemmed for you in the recent past, but I do still see you made the decision to walk away and you're sticking by it, at least in the recent past. On the surface, right, the person that you walked away from, the connection that you walked away from, they would never know that you have these doubts because you're showing me I put up a very strong front, a very confident front. Like this other person would never know everything that was happening behind the scenes for you. But I do see that, again, it was not an easy decision for you to walk away and you were very, very much like, Good choice, bad choice, right choice, wrong choice, yes, no, right? Like very much like a merry-go-round for you emotionally. Let's take a look at the lovers in the recent past. The lovers is clarified by the six of wands, five of wands, nine of wands. Yeah, you're, you're showing me like sometimes I feel very confident and very like confident in my decision. It was the right choice. It was the right decision. I made the right decision. And then other times you do have a lot of like internal conflict about whether or not this was the right decision to make. Um, I do see you though, kind of like not really giving this that much energy. It does on the back end, take up a lot of your mental energy where you're like, this was a good choice. It wasn't. There's a lot of thinking regarding that. And you do have that internal conflict, which sometimes comes up, but you're very good at like setting that aside and being like, no, 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 listen, there's no point. Like thinking about this decision if it was right wrong good bad i already made this decision i'm sticking with it i'm not changing my mind so like there's no point kind of like crying over spilled milk or even thinking about the spilled milk right it's done it's over like i made that decision i'm sticking by it good bad whatever let's clarify your current situation i want to see the three of pentacles in the current situation Three of Pentacles is clarified by the star. This is you, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It's showing up really strongly here for you in this reading. Um, I do see here that you're showing me I have a desire to kind of test the waters, to see where I'm at, to see where the other person's at. But the way you're approaching this is almost like, eh, take it or leave it. I don't care. So even if you're the one suggesting, hey, let's rebuild here, or the other person suggesting, hey, let's rebuild this connection, it doesn't really matter. The way you're coming into this is with a little bit of ego, Aquarius. You're coming in as like, eh, you know, sure, we could rebuild, we could not rebuild, I don't care. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. You're also not giving this a lot of energy. You're giving this like 10% of your energy to rebuild, to rebuild this foundation, to rebuild this connection. But I know you want it. I can see that you want it. And so I'm a little bit confused as to why you're coming in with like a, like a nonchalant attitude. Like, eh, I don't care. You do care. You do want this. So why are we kind of putting on this, this front, this ego, like, eh, you know, doesn't bother me type of attitude. And this is you. This isn't your person. So if you feel comfortable sharing in the comments, like why you're approaching it this way with this kind of energy, I would love to hear it. Let's take a look at the sun in the current situation. The sun is clarified by the chariot, the 10 of wands and the knight of wands. Yeah, you're crystal clear on what you want here. And if we took away this ego, if we took away, you know, Again, I'm going to call it ego, but it's more so like a wall, a defense mechanism, which is kind of pumping the brakes on everything and preventing you from going very quickly and making things happen. Um, if we took that away, you would just be like zero to 60. Like if there's no doubt in your mind, you're like, this is what I want. I make it happen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. You're crystal clear on that, but you're showing me my walls, my defenses, my ego, what I just referred to. Um, is making things a little bit more difficult. It's kind of like you're trying to rein yourself in where you're not letting yourself get too excited. You're not letting yourself get too invested. You're not letting yourself get too, you know, fill in the blank, whatever it is, because I see a lot of in and out, hot and cold. So sometimes you respond to this person's messages, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you wanna rebuild, sometimes you don't. There's a lot of inconsistency here on your part. This could also be your person's energy, but I feel like this is you. Um, which is just making this whole thing a little bit more difficult than it needs to be for you. I'm not even talking about like rebuilding this connection or rebuilding this foundation between the two of you. 
this internal conflict that you're happening, that's happening for you, it's like, I want this, I don't. Good decision, bad decision. It's kind of like an internal battle um, where you're fighting yourself a little bit. So again, not really sure why this energy is so um, intense and so powerful in the current situation, but if you know, let me know in the comment section. Let's take a look at the Hierophant in the current situation. Hierophant is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, which you get again in the same row in the near future, and the Ten of Swords. The reason you're so confused is because you're showing me, on the one hand, I want this, but why do I want something that's over, right? You made the decision to walk away, and in your mind, I walked away equals I'm over. It's done. There's nothing else for me to work with here. And so your confusion is, on the one hand, you're like, oh, I walked away from this, it's done, but then you still want this. You still want to rekindle this. You still want to rebuild the foundation here. You want to rebuild this connection. And that's why you're kind of confused because your mind cannot wrap, like it can't wrap itself around like, well, this is over. Why do you want something that's over? Who said it's over? We say a bunch of things all the time. We say, I'm done, I'm over, I'm this, I'm that, every day in the 3D world. <clears throat> Energetically, that's clearly not the case. So just because you walked away, just because, you know, you said it's over, it doesn't mean it has to be over, right? Energies change, you change your mind, energies settle. So I feel like this is where this internal um, conflict is happening for you because you're kind of fighting yourself, trying to rationalize these desires and these feelings that you have. And that just seems to confuse you even more. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see the hermit for you in the near future. Hermits clarified by the Knight of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yeah, deep down, your intuition is kind of kicking into overdrive here in the near future in a positive way because it's guiding you to take action to communicate, to rebuild this foundation, to allow those feelings, this connection, this bond that you have to come back to the surface. You're still having this internal conflict in the near future, but it seems like your intuition, which you're very connected to, is kicking in and being like, hey, Aquarius, just listen, right? We don't have to rationalize this. What do you feel? You want this connection? Yes, cool, let's pursue it. And I don't see you necessarily doing very much, but what you are doing in the near future here is communicating. You're communicating vulnerably from an open place, and that really helps bring this connection back together, at least that strong bond that you and this person share. Let's take a look at the magician in the near future. The Magician is clarified by the Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups. All you want is love. You want this love back. You want this relationship back. You want this connection back. And you want a brand new beginning here. You're showing me. I do regret how things unfolded in the past, whether it's you regretting your own actions, whether you just regret, like, you know, why did things have to happen this way? I don't really know what this regret is about, but I do see you kind of looking back to the past and being like, I wish things didn't unfold that way. I wish they didn't happen that way because all I want now in the near future is just this connection. I want this love and I want a new beginning here. And you're, you're showing me like in the near future, I'm waiting for that to happen. Let's take a look at the two, okay. Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands. There's still a little bit of confusion showing up here for you in the near future because, again, you do want to rekindle this. And you're showing me, I want to rekindle this. I want this connection to start over. I want to rebuild this foundation. But you're waiting on an apology from this other person. You're, you don't feel like you're the one that needs to apologize. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. But you're showing me, I'm not the one that needs to apologize. I'm waiting on an apology from somebody else, and I know it's going to come. You know this person is going to apologize, you just don't know exactly when. And that's kind of confusing you because you're like, well, should I wait for this apology before I move forward in trying to rebuild this foundation and rebuild this connection? Or do I not wait on the apology, I just move forward, and then the apology will come in due time? It's like you know that apology is going to come no matter what, you just don't know if you should wait for it and then take action, or if you should just take action and then the apology will come when it comes. Whew. Well, let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Aquarius. From the universe, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Wands. You know that this love will come. This love will come back into your life once you have the, that emotional internal stability of, I don't need this. 
when you're yearning for it, it's almost like you're kind of pushing it away. And you're showing me, I know that I need to focus on myself, make sure that I'm stable, all my needs are taken care of, I prioritize myself, and then that love is gonna come back. I cannot like pour into this relationship, into this connection from an empty cup. So I have to make sure that I'm first stable, that I'm first taken care of, and then I can focus on this love. And you know that's gonna happen. It's not a question of like, oh my gosh, is this gonna happen? It's literally just a question of when. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in Aquarius and I will see you here on the next one.